Welcome to the Daily Word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the letter of Romans, chapter fourteen, verses seven to twelve. We do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister, or you? Why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, "As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God." So then, each of us will be accountable to God. This is the word of the Lord. Christ's servant in life and in death. Romans fourteen begins with Paul urging us to welcome those who are weak in faith and not to quarrel over differences in opinion. In verses seven to fourteen of the same chapter, Paul gives us three reasons for the, his plea. One, we are all servants of the same master. Two, we all live to the Lord and die to the Lord. Three, we have all to stand before the Lord and to give an account of ourselves. Many biblical scholars believe that in societies during Paul's time, servants were the property of their masters, and servants existed for the purpose of serving their masters. Paul therefore often uses the servants and master relationship as an analogy for Jesus Christ's relationship to his disciples. Jesus died for our sake on the cross, thereby accomplishing salvation by redeeming us from the bondage of sin. This is exactly what happened to the servants who were purchased at the markets and who would become the property of their new masters. When the early church heard the analogy of servants and masters, they would understand that being a Christian was an important issue because it meant they belonged to their new master. In order to follow their master, they would have to change or renew everything in the past and the present according to the will of their new master. This is what Paul means in saying, "Whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's." Here, Paul gives the most direct and simplest reason for existence: "I belong to the Lord, so I live for the Lord and I die for the Lord." By way of this view, every Christian not only belongs to Christ. But also are related to others in Christ. We live together as equals, and no one exists alone as an island. We share the common goal of living for Christ and dying for Christ. To Paul, being related in this way grants no one the authority to pass judgment or despise the weak, because this authority belongs to God alone. Verse eleven: We are only to bow to the Lord and confess Him as Lord. What we do have is the ability to love one another and serve the needy. Verse nineteen, because the Lord gave us this love. Verse nine says that Christ died because He loved us, and then He lived again for us. Our love for Christ is a response to His love, and is realized among Christians in their love for one another. First John four nineteen says, "We love because He first loved us." The church in Rome during Paul's time was made up of Christians from different cultural and geographical backgrounds, whose views on certain everyday issues and whose level of faith differed, leading to division and even despising and judging of others. The fact that we're all servants who live and die for Christ is a reminder against these behaviors. Verse ten, for we we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. Verse eleven: Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. Reminds us of our total submission to God. No one can boast of anything 
or view himself as being superior to others before God. Therefore, Christians should not judge who is stronger among themselves. Let us have a time of reflection. Please quiet yourself and then thank the Lord for the gifts of one brethren. Please quiet yourself and consider whether you have been proud or contemptuous in your church community. Ask the Lord for mercy and for strength to repent. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, today I proclaim you as my Master, my Savior, and the Lord of my life. I used to belong to the world and was influenced by the world. Now I belong to you, and I ask that you help me to live the Christian way of life, accepting the weak and trying to understand those different from me with your love, knowing that we all belong to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen.